And you're allowed to keep your big fat mouth shut. Not me, Roddy. Not when there's something that needs saying. Nobody asked you. Just a minute, Mr. Keys. I'd like to hear his opinion. No, you wouldn't. It's not very flattering. I'm ready to listen. All right. Where do you get off expecting everything to be so perfect? What have you done to deserve the world tied up in a pretty pink ribbon? I don't. No? Some poor Jasper asked you to marry him and he isn't enough. You have to have everything else, the way you want it. People, the country, the kind of living. Now why does it all have to change for you? You ever think of uh, meeting things halfway? Go on. You're not just lonely and frightened, you're scared green. So scared you're running. Instead of grabbing hold and fighting it out, making the best of it. Well, I've tried. No, you haven't. And you never will. So you go on back home where it's warm and safe and comfortable. Or you can have everything you want just the way you want it. All served up on a silver platter by dumb jaspers like him. Thank you for your interest, Mr. Forrester. Anytime. Good night. No, I sure wish you were stupid. I didn't know your job or something. I don't have an excuse to knock the car out of you. Say, that was uh, quite a speech play. I never thought you'd get so head up about anything. Mm, sure, you've the wrong way. <laughs> so I noticed. You know, it's a funny thing, you now. People most hate in others, but uh, they most hate in themselves. <laughs>